Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we will be exploring the conditional formatting things. Conditional formatting in MS Excel is a powerful feature that allows us to format cells based on certain criteria. This can help us highlight important data, identify trends and make our data easier to read and understand. To apply conditional formatting in Excel, we'll have to use these options from here. To explain better, I have taken some screenshots of the menus from here. As you can see, highlight cell rules, top bottom rules, data uh, bars, color scales, icon sets, new rule, clear rules, and manage rules options over here. Okay, now let's explore the first option first, which is highlight, uh, highlight cell rules. The highlight cell rules option in MS Excel allows us to apply conditional formatting to cells based on their value. Excel offers several options including greater than, less than, between, equal to, text that contains a date occurring duplicate values and we can create more rules as well. So let's explore the greater than option. As you can see I've got some raw data as usual. I'll select these cells and I'll just click greater than whatever I need option like if I can write over here greater than 80 that can be colored by red or yellow or green or light red fill or red text or red border or custom I can choose any of the options from these available options right similarly we can use the rest of the options like less than between equal to that can text that contains a date occurring or duplicate values I would request you all to please go through these options and have some practice do let me know if you have any question I'll be there to answer you Now, the next available option, which is top bottom rules. Top bottom rules option in MS Excel allows us to apply conditional formatting to highlight the top or bottom values in a range or cells. Okay, now I'll just select these numbers and you can, as you can read, I, if I need top 10, I can change these top 10 to as per my priorities, like five or more than 10 options, whatever is needed. And again, the coloring options, we have got multiple coloring options, whatever we need, and we can use the custom format as well. And by, uh, once we press OK, it will be implemented. And same goes for the rest of the options like top 10 percentage, bottom 10 items, bottom 10 percentage, above average or below average numbers. Now let's move on to the next available option, which is data bars option. The data bars options in MS Excel allows us to apply conditional formatting to a range of cells by displaying a horizontal bar that represents the value in each cell. Let's try it. I'll select these cells with numbers and I'll go to data bars and I can select any of the available options and you can see the changes in the cells. It will, it will take the minimum as the, the minimum. As, as the starting point and the maximum as the ending point okay now the next option color scale color scale also works as the data bars but it reflects the results with color shades let's try it I'll select these cells with numbers and i would use and I'll show you all the options available so that it's easy to understand right and we can create our own options as well from these more rules option sounds good the next option we have is the icon sets option the icon sets option in ms excel allows us to apply conditional formatting to a range of cells by displaying an icon that represents the value of each cell Let's try it. I'll select these cells. I go to conditional, form conditional formatting. I can set and we can see, see the results. 
and you can choose any of the available options which ne which is needed or you like right let's move on to the next available option now let's learn how we will do that we we'll go to conditional formatting i'll click on new rule and i'll click on use a formula to determine which cells to format and i will click on this and i click on this because it's related to this cells date and i will remove the dollar sign from here and i will put the sign equals to and the formula today will be used here bracket open and bracket close plus 1 so this uh, shows today plus 1 means if today is 8th of may it should be 9th of may today plus 1 it's 9th of may okay and now uh, what format do i want i would like it to be bold the cells uh, the font to be bold and uh, white color and i would like the cell to fill in this orange color okay and i want this to be implemented to which cells sorry i'll go to my cells and i will implement these to b3 till e3 okay so it will be b3 colon and dollar sign e3 okay and now let's see what happens as the date is already 7th may and it's delivered i'll select this copy from it printed from here click here now again i'll click here twice so that i can implement it on several options Okay, now the next option is new rule. You can create a new rules as per our need from these available options. Uh, please try them out and do let me know if you need any help. I'll be there. Okay, and this option clear rules will clear the ru rules from the selected sheet or the entire sheet or selected cells. Okay, manage rules will display all the rules which are already uh, implemented or uh, the cells are containing those. Uh, rules you can uh, see those rules over here currently we don't have any rule in this sheet so there is no option available or no rules available here i hope this was helpful uh, do let me know in case you have any question uh, uh, so that i i can answer you answer you and it might help me also learn new things i would request you again to please subscribe our channel share our channel do like our uh, videos and please press the bell icon so that you are well aware of the new videos whenever we upload them thank you for watching take care bye bye